The death of Barbara Walters has moved so many, including us at NBC, where she broke into the business and first rose to fame. As Cynthia McFadden reports, she not only blazed a trail for women, she set a standard for all of us. I'm Barbara Walters of the NBC News Center here in New York. And in addition it's hard to imagine what network news would have been like if it weren't for Barbara Walters. We all proudly stand on your shoulders, Barbara Walters. We all showed up to pay our respects when she stepped down from the program she created, The View. What did we say? Without you, there wouldn't be us. These are my legacy. In a male-dominated world at the time, she spent years playing second fiddle to her male co-anchors. At the Today Show... I could not ask a question until he had asked three. The situation didn't improve much when she made that high-profile jump to ABC. I've kept time on your stories and mine tonight. You owe me four minutes. <laughs> Telling friends she knew she had to find a new role. She soon did. As the co-anchor of 2020, she cast a wide net. Heads of state, murderers, movie stars all got the same intense treatment. She was famous for making many of them cry. She said she didn't do it on purpose. Hmm. You caught me off guard, I'm sorry. She was her own best booker and meticulous in her research. Her producers said she was involved in the edit of every interview. She never learned to drive. She was crusty and competitive, soft-hearted and generous. It wasn't that she didn't get knocked down along the way. It's just that she always got back up. And that changed things for her and for the rest of us. Cynthia McFadden, NBC News. Tributes are still pouring in following the death of legendary TV journalist Barbara Walters Friday at the age of 93. The trailblazing reporter broke just as many barriers behind the camera as stories she broke in front of it. Here's CBS's Nikki Batiste. A true pioneer, Barbara Walters was known for her poised and pointed television interviews. In our country, we read that you are unstable. <laughs> With heads of state. Are you sorry you didn't burn the tapes? Hollywood royalty. Was he the love of your life? And some of history's most memorable names. What will you tell your children when you have them? Mommy made a big mistake. Walter's career started in 1961 as a writer on NBC's Today Show. I'm Barbara Walters with Jim Hart. Good morning. She eventually left for ABC, where she became the first woman ever to co-anchor an evening news broadcast. And I'm very pleased to be with you, Harry. Earning $1 million a year in 1976, more than any anchor ever, female or male. She also launched her Barbara Walters specials. By many accounts, your wife is more popular than you are. Uh -huh. This is 2020. Next, she co-hosted 2020. <laughs> In 1997, at age 67, she helped create The View. Walters retired in 2014, surrounded by today's TV stars she inspired. Among them, our CBS Mornings co-host, Gail King. Barbara, there's not a woman on TV today that can't look back and say, if it wasn't you, then there wouldn't be me. That's and that's the most important thing to you. Yeah, it is. It is the most important thing to me. That's what will continue. And I'm among the women who thank Walters for paving the way. Nikki Batiste, CBS News, New York. Turning now to the passing of our colleague here at ABC News, Barbara Walters, a trailblazer in the TV news business, inspiring generations of journalists, breaking barriers, paving the way for countless women who followed in her footsteps. Walters' interview style unlike any other, from presidents like Richard Nixon to foreign leaders to superstar Taylor Swift, her interview with Monica Lewinsky remains one of the most watched television news programs ever. She was able to disarm the people she interviewed and get them to share in a way no one else could. Here's ABC's Deborah Roberts with more on her extraordinary life and legacy. Tonight, tributes pouring in from around the world for Barbara Walters, who died at age 93. So many honoring her as legendary, a trailblazer and iconic, most noting how she shattered glass ceilings everywhere she worked. With a career that spanned more than 60 years, Barbara was the consummate interviewer. Why did you kill John Lennon? I thought by killing him, 
I would acquire his fame. A pioneering journalist. One group of young men kept a very special vigil. These are the honor guards who have been guarding the casket of President Kennedy. The first woman network news anchor. She was the force who livened up daytime TV with The View. There had not been a show with a group of people sitting together and talking unscripted. I thought it might last a year or two. 26 seasons later, The View is still going strong. Born in 1929, Barbara grew up comfortable among celebrities, her father owning a prominent New York City nightclub where the rich and famous mingled. And I realized that celebrities were people, and I've never been in awe of them. Barbara once saying she learned the power of TV after noticing her mentally disabled sister watching hours of shows like I Love Lucy. Barbara would go on to make her mark in the male-dominated television industry in the early 50s. The fact that I ended up on television I never, ever thought that would happen. Working her way up to a job as a writer on NBC's Today Show in the 60s. They had to have one female writer. She did the tea pouring, as I call it. She did the fashion shows. She did the celebrities. Time again, the ambitious Barbara would find her role restricted because she was a woman. While working alongside the Today Show's Frank McGee, the network didn't allow her to ask direct questions of her guests until he had asked four of his own. But the tenacious Barbara found a loophole, interview guests outside the studio. It was only after Frank McGee died that Barbara Walters was named co-host. From then on, I think up to today, the women on the morning shows are co-hosts. That's a nice legacy to have. In 1976, Barbara made history when she jumped to ABC News as the first female anchor on an evening news broadcast with a record-breaking $1 million salary, twice that of legendary CBS anchorman Walter Cronkite. Once again, her male anchor was less than welcoming. I've kept time on your stories and mine tonight. You owe me four minutes. <laughs> That TV matchup didn't last, but Barbara, undeterred, found a niche in big interview specials. This one with Israeli Prime Minister Menachem Begin and Egyptian President Anwar Sadat making history as the very first time the two men had ever talked to each other. Let us talk about it. Let us negotiate. Good evening, I'm Hugh Downs. And I'm Barbara Walters. And then came 2020. And in 1997, The View. Barbara Walters smashed through barrier after barrier for women in TV and held the door open for generations of women in the business to thrive. And we all proudly stand on your shoulders, Barbara Walters, as we honor you. Please welcome Diane Sawyer. Robin Roberts. Many of those awe-inspired women, including myself, paying honor to the queen of journalism as she retired from The View. An emotional thank you for the path that she blazed. This is my legacy. These are my legacy. And I thank you all of you. Looking back, it was the interview that Barbara Walters will forever be known for. Probing, spirited, filled with audacious questions organized on her famous index cards. A keen listener, Barbara was a master at connecting with her guests. You caught me off guard, I'm sorry. Right. From heads of state. I'm gonna ask you a terrible question. Did you ever order anyone killed? Yeah. To big newsmakers, this one with Monica Lewinsky is the most watched interview on television. And you lifted the back of your jacket and you showed the President of the United States your thong <sighs> underwear. Where did you get the nerve? I mean, who does that? <laughs> she could joke with American presidents. I don't want to hurt your feelings, but this is the scroungiest <laughs> Jeep I have. The upholstery is coming out. I mean, I know we have an austerity program, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> and was never afraid to ask the tough questions. Are you sorry you didn't burn the tapes? Yes, I think so, because they were private conversations. Tonight, celebrities, leaders, and colleagues in the TV industry sharing their heartfelt thoughts. President Biden tweeting, Barbara Walters has always been an example of bravery and truth, breaking barriers while driving our nation forward. 
Her legacy will continue as an inspiration for all journalists. Joy Behart reminiscing about her co-host on The View. She had a work ethic that you couldn't deny. She was always prepared. She was always working on her material. And ABC's Diane Sawyer saying in a statement, Barbara Walters was the history maker right down the hall. And this from Oprah Winfrey. Without Barbara Walters, there wouldn't have been me, nor any other woman you see on evening, morning, and daily news. She was indeed a trailblazer. Deborah Roberts joining me now. And Deborah, as we could see in those clips, all of the lives and careers she touched along the way, including yours. Absolutely. It was hard to be in Barbara's orbit and not to want to raise your game, to not be a better journalist, a better, uh, you know, just a broadcaster. But one of the things I remember is as a young woman, Barbara not only encouraging me, but also asking after me. I'll never forget when I was pregnant with my daughter and I went to her to talk about the fact that I'm going to be stepping away for a little while. And she encouraged encouraged me to say, you know, this is such a beautiful time in your life. This is about family. Maybe that's an area I should have focused on a little more. I want to see you do that. And that was something that was very special. And people wouldn't necessarily know about Barbara Walters. What you saw in front of the camera, that was a master class in journalism. But behind the camera, that relentless work ethic, those, you know, notes that she was pouring over, those were the things that really made up Barbara Walters as a person, the preparation, but also the concern for women in this business. And of course, we are thinking about our loved ones, her family, and mm. all of us here at ABC News really feeling this loss of one of the greats in journalism. Deborah, thank you for your thoughts this evening. And stay right here because later in this broadcast, Barbara Walters, in her own words, how she hoped to be remembered. And then please join us on Sunday for a two hour special edition of 2020 Our Barbara at 8 p.m. for more on the broadcast legend.